Welcome back everybody. I'm gonna play some everybody's golf on PlayStation 4. Imperial Garden today. The inward nine is the open course. Uh, it's the bonus course today. So we'll we'll play that. Uh, I think it's Mega Cups. Um, which usually I'm not a massive fan of because it kind of devalues your putting. Sorry, there's just coins lying around. Uh, and we like a coin and a gem. Yeah, so it's normal wind, mega cups. Um, I'd be interested to see what sort of score I can knock out on this. Uh, normally it's a tough course, so we'll see. But um, it's a par four. Well, um, yeah, we've got custom club, standard balls. Yeah, I, we'll go with that. So first old bit of a headwind. Uh, just beat the snot out of it. I'm not worried too much about length. Let's get it up there. Normally if the wind's the other way, you've kind of got to worry a little bit about how far you're going to run. Because you don't want to go in the in the little canal turning circle, whatever it is. So, straight into the wind. It's flat. Nice flat lie. So this is all about getting it up and stopping it. So we got our ultra spin on. Go on. Oh, the ultra spin actually hurt me there. Look at that, it's ridiculously far back. Um, should be able to putt that though, to be fair. So what are we? A little bit uphill. Maybe a touch more club. Gonna break a little bit. Um, there you go, dropped it. That would have been embarrassing to put it too close to the pin and spun it off the green. It's a par five. Alright, this one. Over the locks. Uh, again, I don't think the lead's going to give us any trouble here today. I might just shape it left to right though. Just to be... Just to be sure. Yeah. Ideally, we want to be on the fairway and not on the rough stuff. So a little bit of shape here might just help us, yeah. I mean, the slope's enough, the camber of the green's enough that it should keep you in a reasonable state. So a bit of a hanging light. Coming over our left shoulder as well, so we need to account for that. Uh, that bunker is not great. Again, we might try a little bit of left to right action on it. See if we can mitigate it somewhat. I mean, normally the length means you should be okay. Okay, we're up. Probably a bit far, but better than being short and ended up in that bunker, to be fair. So, eagle putt. Bit of a slope on it. It slopes uphill, but it's a nice big cup. Actually, I'm going to give it a bit more power. By the way, you can just have, as long as you don't set a power, it will just swing. You don't lose a stroke. But as soon as you've set the power, you're committed to the shot. There you go. Nice and easy eagle. That's a good start. I've not played. Oh, I suppose Mega Cups. Yeah. Twelve. It's a par. Wouldn't have played this as Mega Cups. Uh, now again. Oh, the issue here. Have I got the length? No, not into the headwind. I haven't. Not into the headwind. I might just play up here. I might just play up here. I'd much rather have a slightly longer but cleaner approach to the fairway so you can get a spin on it than end up in the water or with a bad lie. So a little bit of course management. That'll do nicely. That gives me 80 to go. Mm, could have been a bit closer. It's a bit of wind, a little bit downhill. Again, I might go right to left here and try and hold it up in the wind. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's a 10 foot. Chance for a birdie. Chance for a birdie. There's this left edge and firm, isn't it? Let's try and get it in the middle of the hole. Yeah, it's alright. It's a four under. It's a good start. 
Ah, that's now we're down wind, so we need to just think a little bit. Now, we could just go for this. If we think our accuracy is there. I see people have driven the green. Let's have a go at it. I've just put a bit of backspin on it. But I'm not too sure how far it's going to skip on. I just want to check it. Yeah, I've already checked it a bit too much. I could have been a little bit bolder there. But I'll take it. So... We're in the 30-yard approach range. Let's just see what we can do with it. Just stop it when we get it up there. Like that. Go on. Oh, line is a smidgen out. But again, nice straightforward birdie pup. So that was pretty straightforward so far. Oh, 14. It's a par three. Ah, this is quite a long par three. 250 is a fair old way. <coughs> so again, we've got a bit of wind. And we've got those nasty bunkers. So we're going to try and shape it left to right into the wind. It does mean we're going to come over that big bunker though. So we've just got to be super careful and make the shot. And I'm a little bit worried that's going to be short oh, and sandy. Not. Get up there, get up, get up, get up there. It's alright, it's alright, it's alright. That's not bad at all, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, well, hey. Go for the birdie. So again, nice straightforward birdie putts. The ones I like. Nice birdie. Done. Done. So that's got us to six under. Oh, 15. It's a powerful... Yeah, it's a bit of a tail cross now. So can we get it up there? That's the $64,000 question. Well, we're only going to find out by having a go. Yeah! Oh, nice job! The question is, is it going to make that lip? Oh, Josh, it's going to run into that bunker. Eh. Luckily, I'm not plugged in the face. So, can we get it up is the question. I'm going to have to turn the approach off for sure. Yeah, just about got it up. That's not bad. Considering where that was, that's not a bad, not a bad sand shot. Okay. So it's going to break a bit, but not much. Just hit it firm. With a bit of luck, it will just drop nicely. Yep. Okay, 16. Very long par 5 today. Playing 640. Oh, my little skip's back on. I like this little skip. With a bit of luck, just hits the bit of tarmac. Oh, Boing, and keeps going. Much better than, than playing with all those pop bunkers. Still 2.42 to go. Oh, question do I lay up? Oh, I've got the legs. I've got the legs for it. Oh, maybe I'll just use a power shot just so I get it up there. Okay, I've got to hit this. Oh, nice shot. This is all about where it lands. Oh, pitch and grip, pitch and grip. That's good. That's where the ultra backspin helps you, just stops it. Amazing. Normally a three iron would just skid oh, on there. The eagle. Wow. <laughs> so that's a read and a half, isn't it? So it's running down. It's in that almost in that gutter. So how do I read that? So if you hit it straight, it's going to go right a bit into the base of that. I think I just hit it straight. I think I just did that straight. It'll wiggle about a bit. Yes. Yeah. Ooh. Ridiculous pop. But I'll take it. That's another eagle. It's a three four to finish. Oh, it's a par three. Oh, we've got a nice pin position on that today. There's plenty of meat in the green to go for. Can we stop it? Oh, underread the wind a tiny bit. 
chance for a birdie. It's a 17 footer. It's a little bit downhill, so I just want to give it a chance to, to break. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, probably too hard, actually. A little bit softer. A little bit softer than now. So I've missed the part. I missed the bird. Oh, it's a par four to finish. It's a par four. And again, this is a nice straightforward one. You can pretty much just whack it. I might put a tiny bit of shape on it. Great shot! Really just to bend it. And then the little hillocks should take care of the rest. That's run quite nicely. That leaves me 95 to go. Hanging lie, but the wind will bring that back. So, over pitch it. Oh, neat shot! As you lose a little bit in the wind, it was over pitch to touch. That's okay, it's okay. Not ideal, but it's okay. So I want to drop it on the right and just run it. Look, pitch and run and take the slow, slow take it. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on. Ah, just didn't have enough legs. Just didn't have enough legs. Have enough legs. And that's two pass to finish. A little bit of a disappointing finish. Nice Put nine under. All right. But again, the custom comes make a massive difference on this course. Having a bit of length really kind of really helps you out. And will it connect? Yeah. It's a 16. Oh, okay. I can see how you can get 16. I've finished second at the moment. That's probably about right. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, Please like, share and subscribe. Uh, leave a comment. I always like the comments. Some of you have started to ask questions and make comments on your own game. More than happy to answer any questions you've got. Um, and I'll see you next time for a little bit more Everybody's Golf.